Hello all, welcome back. This is Cristobal Dana from Trinity Software. In this video, let's see how to create a custom exception, also known as user defined exception in Python. As we know, when the Python interpreter finds any error, it is immediately reported with the reason and the program terminates. So, we can handle these exceptions using try and accept statements in Python. Python has a plenty of built in exceptions, but when we write our code, we want some exceptions apart from the built-in exceptions. To handle this problem, we can create our own custom exceptions and give them names of our choice. Also, we can raise them whenever we want. Okay. So, the user-defined exception syntax looks like this. To create a custom exception, we have to derive a subclass from the built-in exception class. Though it is not mandatory, most custom exceptions end with error which is similar to the naming of the built-in exceptions. Let's create a simple custom exception now. Imagine that a product store has an optional delivery service for selling its product. Our product store has a program for submitting an online order for the product. Think of the possibility of any specific errors occurring. Sometimes we may receive orders that can't be fulfilled because there is not enough stock for a specific product. In that case, we need to raise a custom exception. So, this is not a built-in exception in Python, but it is specific to our program. We create that custom exception now. The exception, we name it as inventory error. It is derived from exception class. So, the body of the class contains only the pass statement. So, this pass is used here since we don't want any other code to be executed. All the attributes and methods of the super class are inherited by this subclass inventory error. Now let's define a function called check order and by passing the quantity as an argument. Inside this we have to assign the stock variable. Stock is 100 and if the quantity is greater than stock in that case we need to raise our custom exception that is inventory error. Else give a print statement stating that stock available. Fine. Now let's call this function get the quantity from the user. And then let's call this function check order and quantity is passed as the argument. Now let's execute this. Enter the required quantity. If I give a lesser quantity get the message that stock is available. If not, if the quantity is greater than the stock, so I give 120 here, we get an error. The traceback contains our class name which we have created just now. That is the custom exception. Right? We can make use of try and accept statements to handle this error in our code. So, the suspicious part of the code which can raise an exception will be placed inside the try block and the code that handles exception will be placed inside the accept block. So, we are calling the function check order that must be placed within this try block and in the accept block should handle the exception usually with the print statement inventory error. So, the print statement I can give when you are raising the inventory error let me give insufficient stock. Okay, and here inventory error as IE and let's just print IE here. So, this message will be printed whenever exception occurs. Let's execute now. I enter a greater quantity now. It got the message that insufficient stock. So, exception is handled using the try except statement. Okay, now let's write another function for scheduling the delivery. Once you have checked the order and you have sufficient stock, the next step is we have to schedule the delivery. In that case, the possibility of error is that if someone tries to schedule a delivery but their address is too far, in that case we need to raise another exception, namely location too far exception. Okay, let me define one more class called as location too far error which is derived from the exception class. The body of the class contains pass statement alone. Now, I am just going to write that function 
scheduling the delivery by giving the distance from the store as an argument the condition to be checked here is if distance from the store is greater than 15 km in that case i'm going to write location to for error with the message delivery available only within 15 km if not if the distance is less than 15 then uh, your order is placed successfully and product will be delivered soon it can be printed order placed successfully product will be delivered soon that's it okay we should be calling this function here in the check order we have to get the distance from the user so distance is obtained in the variable d Out of input enter the distance from the store now call the function by passing this distance as an argument so schedule delivery pass this d as an argument now we have one more except block location to for error and print the error statement so if the location is too far you will get message as delivery available only within 15 km let's execute this now ok i got an error message here so i then close this bracket save it and execute it again the required quantity if it is less than 100 and the distance from the store is less than 15 km everything is fine order placed successfully so there is no exception in this case in case if the required quantity is less than the stock but the distance from the store is greater so we will get the exception that delivery available only within 15 km ok that's it about custom exception or user defined exception in python thanks for watching if you like this video kindly share and subscribe